ready to rock here. We have the 3090 and the 3060. We were able to run up to the 30B Llama model. The 13B Llama model will run on the 3090 alone and the 7B Llama model will run on the 3060 alone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce your VRAM usage so that you can use this Llama model on your RTX 3000 series machine. As long as you have 10 gigabytes of VRAM or above, you should be good to go. You can maybe push it on an 8 gigabyte VRAM device with the 7B. You might be able to get away with that. So without further ado, let's show you what is good. Okay, so before we get started, I have already used this file to convert the llama weights to the hugging face format. I'll post the link to that in the description. I don't remember where I found this code from, but here there'll be a link and it'll bring you to this page here. That's important. I have the converted models, the 7B, the 13B, and the 30B. And from the original models that I got from Technium, you want to copy and paste these two files inside the Hugging Face converted models. So make sure you do that. And then that is basically it for setup. So that's already done. I'm not going to go over doing that again. I will post this text document that I put together that has the command to convert the weights that you would type in the CLI. It's just a Python uh, function. And uh, obviously I'll change the directories or you should change the directories so that it matches your uh, system setup. This is for Linux. A lot of these do not work for Windows and on Windows you're going to have to do a little more finagling to get it to work and it might not work at all. Not all of these have been tested on Windows. Some have. <laughs> Like I mentioned, I have this little text file that I put together that I will post. It's got all the installation instructions, including a very kind of basic way to get Llama. You do need to get Llama at some point, and I do have a video on that, so make sure to watch that video. Make sure you're up to speed. Then next, we wanna, we're going to be using the Web GUI by Uba Buga, I believe is how you uh, pronounce that. Um, perhaps it's, uh, maybe he's, uh, I'm not sure what the origin of that name is, but uh, he's fantastic. What we have here is a Web UI for running and displaying the Llama model. It gives you an interface, allows you to change the parameters and settings easily, and it integrates the transformers by Hugging Face and a couple other modules that make it possible to reduce the VRAM without having to mess with the code too much. So we're actually not going to be editing any code today. We're simply just going to be downloading various packages and using various flags to reduce the the amount of VRAM that we use in total. And this is extremely effective and a much better approach than editing the code and trying to mess with the outputs themselves. All right, so let's start by installing the web UI. And if you go to the GitHub, which I'll put the link in the description, these installation instructions are fantastic and work without any fault. And if we take a look at the requirements.txt, we're gonna notice that they specify the version. And that's, that's really the flag of a fantastic github install except for numpy but that's fine so you know you know we already get to get all right and all you got to do is copy and paste this i'll do it and show you but uh it's self-explanatory you can use the one click installer i wouldn't recommend it that's just it's unnecessary this is so simple uh you should you should have conda installed anyway and you might as well just clone the repo and download the requirement install the requirements Go here, we'll zoom in for you. Hopefully you can see this and should be able to paste all that in there and it should just do it. Torch Vision, Torch Audio is always a little bit iffy on the install, but it should go through and it'll take a little bit of time, but we should be good to go. If that's what it's doing, it might still be setting up the environment. There we go. All right, so this should be the Torch Vision, Torch Audio. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit yes. Uh, Open AI Whisper, we're not using that. I'm not sure why it's even talking about that. You can see safely ignore this and you probably won't see it if you don't have whisper installed i think uh i really have no explanation for that but don't worry about it. we have cd'd into text generation web ui we should have installed the requirements here we got bits and bytes we need that flexion we need that grad io we need that so we have installed the text generation web ui all right so once you get the weights in the right place and again you want to just put the weights in the models folder so put the weights in the models folder if you are using the hugging face conversion you'll also 
also have to copy and paste these two files from the origin original weights folder into the corresponding hugging face formatted model. Then just to see that it is running, you do python server.py and you can add the no stream. This is just so that the output shows up all at once instead of coming out like uh, it's actually typing back. And then specify the model. We're just going to use the 7B. It's hard to see, but that is what we're running here. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and it loads pretty quick. And this is the GPU usage. So we want to pay attention to this, see what we go up to. All right. So it looks like we're running pretty comfortably at 13 gigs and we can just say hello or I believe I can fly, comma, see what it comes up with. I believe I can fly. Two, I think it's going to be a great day. And three, you are the wind beneath my wings. I love you all very much and hope that this letter finds you well. I miss everyone so much, but know that we will see each other again soon. I'm so grateful for everything in life. I've been given an amazing opportunity to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and could not be happier with where I am right now. I feel as though God has blessed me beyond measure by allowing me to come on a mission, and I'm extremely excited about what is ahead. Sorry to say goodbye to family and friends when I left home last Last week, but knowing that I would get to spend two years serving others makes leaving easier. My companion, Elder Dalquis, and I were able to leave our MTC district together. I wonder if that's a real person. Nope. But Charles is the second. Yeah, and he is related to the Church of Latter-day Saints. Yeah, Elder Dalquist, I assume his first name is not Elder. And I'm probably pronouncing his name probably not right. Again, these outputs, they're crazy. They're 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 crazy. They're entertaining. They're good to read. They're not they're random, but they're random in a specific way. Just great outputs. Alright, so that was the 7B model, and we were topping out at around 13 and a half gigabytes without doing anything. You you should be able to run this on the 3090 no problem. You can easily drop that significantly though. So I just want to say how simple this solution is and it is ongoing. This, this, all this came out about a week ago, but really hadn't started being implemented for the llama model until about 24 hours ago. So this is all brand new. I've just been on this GitHub, just scouring, just scouring. And really what it came down to, the most important thing is this file here where I really have no idea where this came from. But this file here is extremely important. Make sure that when you get the weights, you do convert your weights to the HF format. None of this will work. But once you've converted the weights to the HF format, all you have to do is go to the web UI section that has the flags and descriptions and put in what you want it to do. So we're going to specify the GPU memory limits that we want to use, we are going to load an 8-bit. We're going to load an 8-bit and we're going to set no stream and that should be it. Once we do that, we're done. This is uh, very simple. It did end up taking me about five hours plus of looking for solutions here. Although this does look pretty easy, this did take uh, quite a bit of time, but we'll go ahead and run it and I'll show you that the 7B, we're going to, we're going to drop the memory usage in about half. All right, so loading an 8-bit, we should be good to go just with this set of commands here and we'll go ahead and hit enter and if it doesn't work i do have some troubleshooting solutions here okay so here we go with this cuda setup nonsense this is something that we will have to go into the code to change but we can also do this so instead of changing the code we can try and set the visible devices to be specifically the devices that we want this to use and that should work this also took me quite a while to figure out even though it's a really simple solution this should work there we go so the 960 does not support 8-bit map mole which is matrix multiplication uh, or at least it does it supports slow 8-bit map mole. I don't know what that is. We we don't we don't do slow around here. So it is working now, and we can see that the GPU usage is eight gigabytes. Whereas before it was about 13 and a half. So I promised a shrinkage of one half. We didn't get there, but we got pretty close. Eight gigabytes. This should run. And this is just under eight. And you have just above eight on your eight gigabyte machine. Remember, it's eight times 1024, whatever that is. That's going to be, but you should be getting about eight, eight, 200 or something in that range. We're just under. If you're not using your eight gigabyte GPU for visual display and you have it dedicated, you will be able to run the 7B comfortably on your. 8 gigabyte GPU. So there we go. That's it. And I guess I might as well show you how to convert the files uh, because, you know, it, uh, that, that's it. We're done. <laughs>
right so let's convert these regular models into hf formatted models i'm going to put this link in the description again i don't remember where i got it from we could probably trace this link back but uh it's definitely you know related to the transformers repo and hugging face somehow um, all you have to do is copy this into a python into a text file and save it as a dot pi uh, i used vs code to do it but you don't have to and the code to run this i have specified in this text file here which i may post um i don't know if i want to make an entire github repo to host this uh i probably will um but yeah you copy this here specify your proper path to the file that we're running this is how you run python files and we specify the input directory that is the folder that contains the weights not the path to the model itself but just the folder that contains all your models uh the original models there and then you specify which model with the model size flag and then you set the output directory to wherever you want the models to end up and you, that's it you just copy and paste this into your command line and you hit well you copy and paste all of this into your command line you hit enter and it will do it automatically for you there i had no headaches with this this should just run uh you shouldn't have any problems there are there are no prints in here you could probably add a couple print statements to let you know that things are working but uh this runs pretty flawlessly and that's it for that that's important you have to do this so you need this file and I'll post this link in the description, but you do have to do this. All right, so let's run the 30B. That's the largest one that I could run on my setup. And we can go back to the GitHub by Uba Buga. And we're going to want to keep the load in 8-bit. We want to set auto devices. And we want to also set GPU memory. So we will go back in here. I'll zoom it in for you. And we'll go up to the last command that I did here. We want to specify the model to be 30B. And this model is the name of the model file. So whatever you've named the model in inside your repo whatever you named it that's what the model is you don't have to name it this you can name it whatever you want um the name is specified you do choose the name when you make the hf file using the converting weights to hf that we were talking about previously this is where you make the name of the folder not the file all right so we set that we want to load an 8-bit we want to set auto devices this is going to split the memory nicely amongst the gpus but then we also want to set gpu memory uh 22 and 10 it tends to go over so this is really just a base guideline but that's really how i want it split i want the i want 22 gigs going to the 3090 and 10 going to the 3060 and it does a good job of splitting it up in a way that the llama base was not able to do because the llama base was splitting up the data uh pretty pretty basically it was doing like a the data went one way and the model went another way that's how it seemed to work and this is doing something else so that's that's pretty cool and was there anything else that we wanted to add here uh, disk, you can try disk. I haven't needed to use it or I haven't noticed it actually doing anything, but that might help. Um, it didn't for me, but it might for you. So go ahead and give that a try if you're still out of memory. Um, the deep speed uh, is some kind of experimental thing that wasn't working for me. Um, I did download, there is a repo for it uh, that wasn't working for me, but it might work for you. So give that a try if you're still out of memory. Um, but basically if you have one GPU and it's a 3090, you can run the 13B. If you have two GPUs and one of them's a 3090, you can run the 30B. The 64B is going to take two 3090s minimum. It's pretty big. It's twice the 30B plus a little bit. It's a 65 actually. So that's pretty, that's pretty big here. Um, but I think that's it specified the model i want it to load an 8-bit i want to use auto devices gpu memory split i want this and i want to make sure that we set the cuda device order to pci bus id instead of uh how it normally is on torch which is rank of how much vram how powerful the gpu is so bus id is how it's laid out in the machine and that's what nvidia smi shows so we want the visible devices to be the zero and the two which 
is the zero, the 3090, and the two being the 3060. On torch, uh, two would actually be the 960, and one would be the 3060. So there is a different ordering between torch and uh, CUDA. So we'll go ahead and run this. This should just go through fine. Right, so it looks like we're launched up. We can control click here and that should open it up for us. And I will ask, well, I'll make a prompt. Again, this is a continuation over whatever ChatGPT is doing. This is GPT-3 like, so it really just builds on what you're saying. And so when you see something like this, what you're gonna wanna do is say how many states are in the usa and then you want to answer with 50 this is called few shot learning and then you want to give another perhaps uh question here is there life on the moon and we'll go factual answer is no and then we'll go question and we'll just leave it at that and see if it uh, comes up with a question and answer. So we'll generate here. This is the 30B. All right, so that took about 45 seconds. And look, it came out with a bunch of prompts and it did keep the formatting. Sometimes I've seen it throw in like weird texts, like kind of code blocks and weird things. It didn't look like it do that. What is the population of China? 1.3 billion. What's the population of India? 1.2 billion. Who's the first president of the United States? George Washington. Who's the current president of the United States? Barack Obama. That's very dated. So I don't know. Second president of the United States, John Adams. Third president, Thomas Jefferson. Was Thomas Jefferson the... Yeah, he was. Okay, that's embarrassing. Sorry about that. Uh, fourth president, James Madison. Fifth president, James Monroe. Looking pretty good. And sixth president, John Quincy Adams. Looking pretty good here. So you see, that's what it does. You can also continue prompts and it'll build on from there. And it does a pretty good job with the continuations. But this is the 30B. We got to run. You should be able to get it running as well, as long as you have have 24 gigabytes and 11 gigabytes so a total of 36 gigabytes of vram combined i have 12 and 24 so i'm just under and you can see 24 is pretty close to the cap which is 24 times 10 24 and 11 is pretty close to 12 which is really 12 times 10 24 so we have a little bit of room to play with but not much so i'm not going to be able to run the 65b ah we aired out we probably got an out of memory yeah so we ran out of memory on that one what we can try here is to run the same thing and then do dash dash disk this will help slightly but not enough to actually make a difference so that we can run the 65 but since it looks like we ran out of memory because it was a longer prompt i think this might help a little bit so we'll let that go we'll see what this does all right then looking at the gpu usage ah Large. Um, we can see that it fills up the largest one first and then starts to fill up the smaller one. I don't really like how that happens because, uh, but I guess is that kind of implies that it's doing that even split down the middle where it just sends one group of data to the other and another group of data to the other. Whereas I would want something a little more complicated than that. Ideally, I think we could get better, uh, something more efficient if we did something a little more complicated, but I can't complain. This came out two days ago with, you know, they, uh, this came out like, I guess so this came out earlier, but the llama implementation came out two days ago, if not yesterday, depending on how you look at it and it's pretty damn good it works question what is the chemical formula of water h2o question what molecule is the ozone predominantly i don't know how to spell that dominantly made of o3 question here we'll go ahead and generate again we're pushing pretty close to the max here but i did have it going so even though we are pushing pretty close i was not getting an out of memory error with the disc flag so i have high hopes that this will stay around here and just push that little last piece on disc which is going to increase the amount of time it takes to run but i think we should be good okay and how many planets are there in our solar system eight looking pretty good this is a question that has no correct answer it's opinion based not factual there are more than 100 countries in the world the number of states vary from country to country okay so this answer is not as this response is not as nice as the last one but let's continue see if we uh, get any issues here and it lets you know when an output is generated and how long it took these times are not 
very accurate though because it definitely took longer than 24.82 seconds uh the first time the second time i guess was pretty quick but it didn't actually do any so that doesn't count all right so that came through and we didn't get the out of memory error so i think the disc flag will help slightly but you can see it didn't drop the memory by much i think before it was at 24 200 or something like that now it's a 24008 so it didn't do much but it does help a little so you can you can throw that in there if you want to so we're done here for that you will be able to run this with low vram settings i hope this was helpful make sure you like and subscribe it's all love around here i love commenting back and forth so make sure you comment i'll keep at it uh, i have some videos on some funny outputs that i put out i might throw one in at the end as like a little blooper but um i will post these links somewhere and you'll see them in the description have a fantastic day peace you know just having fun here just this is going to be my little first take of the prompts that i'm seeing uh looks like same prompt does actually give different outputs which is good to see uh, i wasn't seeing that on the original model but uh this is the 13b i believe yeah and it does look like same prompt different outputs and again there are too many goddamn apple pies here i'm sick of apples you can have all the apples you want but don't take any more than that said the manager <laughs> Come on, that's a, that's a great quote. You can have all the apples you want, but don't take any more than that. Oh